Welcome. Today we're going to look at how I take notes on video courses because a few people have asked me and Skillshare for some of my courses and I figured it's a great time to demo my new course site that's up. So if you go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, you can see the memberships that are available. Course supporters get all my courses for free and they are being uploaded kind of as we speak because there is a weekly upload limit on Vimeo. So I've got my Obsidian course and my latest Building the Practice of Productivity course up. Uh, and almost ready, almost ready to be up. The productivity one is out. So you can go there and support the channel if you want. Otherwise, let's look at how I organize my notes in Obsidian when I'm taking a video course. All right, so let's go over to my screen here. You can't see this little window, but Ecamm has one in the way. And this is my course, Building the Practice of Productivity, because the truth is tools. Everyone focuses on those and they are not the most important thing. You take your same broken process to whatever tool you use. So let's look at this. This is lesson two. I'm not going to do the intro. And what I would do is I'd say link. This is just a new file. Uh, notes on building the practice of productivity. I'd grab the link over here. Paste it in so I have it. And I'd also go author is who? Me. Curtis. Kale. Excellent. And now I would say two uh, pound signs for a heading. Two tools won't make you productive. And then I would do three heading and do notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take notes while I watch this video and you kind of get a lesson for free here. Uh, and then I would actually, I'm going to do a summary afterwards. So let's dive in and do that. One of the biggest issues that I see when people start really looking at their productivity is that they focus way too much on the tools. What is the newest tool? What is the hottest tool? What does some famous person use? What? All of these things that actually don't matter. Because as I've already said, if your practice of productivity is broken, it will not matter which tool you use. When you move to this new best tool that's whoever uses, your process will be just as broken now as it was then, and you still will not get the work done that you expected to. For years now, I have used basically the same process, whether it's in a phase of digital project management or when I'm in a phase of analog project management, because I do switch back and forth a little bit kind of as the season in my life dictates one or the other. When I was using a bullet journal, I would write down the tasks for this month and next month on different pages. When I got to a month, I'd plan out which weeks things wanted to be done in. Uh, and then when I got to a week, I would use time blocking to make sure that I set aside time for different tasks. You can actually find my time blocking course here on Skillshare as well. Now that I use Things 3, I do basically the same thing. I have a tag for next month, a tag for this month, a tag for next week, and a tag for this week. And that's really how I do most of my task organization. It's the same thing. It's just, you know, adapted to a digital format instead of using it in analog. Another important thing to remember is you don't have to take my system or any single person's system. Use it as a jumping off point, and then as you build your practice of productivity, customize it to yourself. Customize it to what works best for you, and then you know build your own system and tell people about it, because someone else will like your system better than my system. My system is a good jumping off point. Now, outside of the course, if you really want to dig into some other books that I found foundational and like building my practice of productivity and a lot of my philosophy. I have four big recommendations for you. I have Deep Work uh, by Cal Newport. That was felt like the book that said everything I wanted to say at the time. It said just said it succinctly, everything that I had been thinking. 4,000 Weeks, which is a fairly new one, talking about you have about 4,000 weeks to live, so what are you going to do with it? Uh, the 12-week year is another good one about planning in quarters in 12 weeks, and the other one is rest. Uh, that's a good one about taking the time for self-care. Well, there are many other books out there. I think these four had the biggest impact on my productivity. So there we go. We've taken our notes on the course. Now, something I would do here, and I'll do it again right now, is I would actually go in and say deep work and so I actually have two of these because one is a copy of my handwritten notes and one is synced through readwise so you can see readwise right here that's for that one because I did read deep work first on kindle and so I'd actually double link this because it counts for both of them and I would come in here and do 4,000 weeks and I would come in and do 12 week year. Again, I've linked that twice because I have two copies of it. And then I'd also do rest as well. So I would actually do this even if a book uh, I haven't read before, if this is a new book, if I went to split and uh, the 
shock doctrine. I don't have any in here. I actually don't know. But you see, I linked an author in here um, because, or if I, you know what, actually a better is 4,000 weeks. So I scroll to the bottom of 4,000 weeks. You'll see I have a whole bunch of book links here, right? Getting things done, how to live on 24 hours a day, more work from other. And so this is later on, uh, if I go into the note, I can actually see that. All right, I've labeled it as book to read and around some of the topics that it's around. So later on, I can actually look at it and say, hey, what books do I want to read in the feminism genre, right? That would be one I could do uh, via the search feature in Obsidian or via the graph. I can start to look at those and see what, I mean, you know, maybe there's some book that I don't really recognize that a lot of people have linked to and a lot of other things referenced. And so I would dive into those. So now that I'm done this part here, it's time to do a summary of the course or this lesson at least, right? So I, I did this clearly. So I know what I was trying to get across. I was trying to get across that your tools aren't as important as you think and that finding the new tool isn't the most important thing. It's having a good process and your process is gonna be portable if it's a good one. So tools don't matter and they're not a magic bullet. If you have a good process, between tools and media because I again I do um, analog uh, some analog productivity and some uh, task management and things I think that digital task managers are really good for getting a lot of stuff in uh, organizing it but then day to day I think best on paper so I've actually just done a video on that uh, on my you know how I do my weekly review weekly setup and that video has I recorded it yesterday so it's out or just coming out depending on when this one because I don't remember the order right now. So it's portable between tools and mediums. Don't take someone's system wholesale as a job off point and then my to suit you will not fix it broken process. Okay, cool. So now I'd actually come in here and I notice this doesn't happen. So this happened a few times to me lately and I don't know why this is an obsidian sync issue. I'm going to go into my settings and I'm going to go into editor and fold heading is off. And I'm going to assume that's because there's some sync issue between one of my other devices. So I turn this on. So my second time recording the video, I turned this on once already. Uh, and now I should be able to go fold my notes and I would actually come in here now and I'd go to the end and I would say, Oh, one, two, three. And then I would move to the next lesson. And the next lesson is, in this case, choose the right thing to do, because that is also to do. And then I can say notes. And you know, an even better thing might be in here is to say, uh, actually, that's not what I wanted. I want to say, uh, create a new file. And I would say, uh, course, note, section, template. And I'm going to go on to lesson, one, two, three, note. I'm going to move that into my templates and then I'm going to go back. So this is a command option and back arrow or should be control alt left arrow on uh, Windows. And I come in here. So now I could say um, template and I could say course note section template and they're going to kind of pop it out for me. There's probably a way in templator with variables to even like get me down to the lesson. So now I'd say three, seeing the right thing to do. So, and then I would, again, I'd take my notes on the second chunk of the course and I'd put a summary in there again. And that's, that's it. That's how I do it. Um, at the end of the course, I would also summarize the entire course. Uh, what kind of what the important points were, what I got out of it. Um, and then I'd also go back and take any, I say atomic notes out of there. These are you know, literature notes or fleeting notes where I would go through and 
decide what the whole course is about. I tag the whole course as well. I might break out individual lessons if I really think a lesson is an encapsulated idea that I need to link to from other things, or I would write a secondary note that links back to it or something like that. So just because I've taken the initial notes, the initial um, ideas down doesn't mean I'm done. Still means there are things to do. But that's it. If you like the video, then you can give me a thumbs up below. You can subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. But honestly, turn off your notifications because I don't want notifications. I schedule YouTube time and watch it then. If you really want to support the channel, the best way to do it is to go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, where you can choose to go for a $15 membership and take all the courses for free, which are all coming up in the next probably two weeks. Two weeks, maybe three weeks. I'll have all my courses up. And I'll roll out all the books and everything else I've ever done before. Or there's just going to be a paid newsletter for like cool research stuff, cool obsidian stuff that I find that'll come out probably weekly, probably weekly. So that's it. Buckle up. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Try to behave yourselves.